I think the most obvious first question is just your physique. You, you said last year that you were comfortable playing at the weight you were at. What what changed your mind and talk about that transformation? I'm just having a conversation with Coach. Um, just setting goals for me. Uh, 265 was my, was my goal. Um, I'm kind of in between 265 and 270 right now, so um, that's, that's been a goal of mine. So how does it feel to be at the at the new weight? Uh, it feels great. Um, I feel different just walking around. Um, I'm, I'm very proud of myself, but like Jonas always told me, I can't be content. Joel kind of went through a similar transformation last summer. Did you use him as like an example of what you could work towards? Oh uh, yeah, of course. I mean, it was every day I was asking him, what should I do? Like, what what, what eating habits should I pick up? Um, what smart idea to eat at late? Um, and stuff like that. So, I mean, I think he, he really helped me throughout this process, too. So you really have to lean on him and kind of did you oh, guys, yeah, like, course. check in with each other? Oh, yeah, all the time. Um, it's just something that's, that was important to him. I'm not just expressing him how important it was to me. So, I mean, he helped me throughout the way, too. Coach, so what, what you did off the court was a lot harder than anything he's going to ask you to do on the court. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, when it comes to the court, I mean, I think it's a, it's a time for us to show what, what, what we've been working on this whole time. Uh, I think that's what we've been doing as a team. Um, I mean, Coach is right. Um, I've I really been working hard as I've ever been in my life. So, I mean, I'm, I'm very proud of myself, like I said before. But like I said, I, gotta, I can't be content. i got to produce on the court. You said one of the adjustments for you is your mind, knowing your body can get up quicker, sort of your mind matching what your feet can do now. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's important to me. Um, I, I've been in the weight room every day just working on my explosiveness, um, trying to be a play above the rim a little bit, um, just trying to finish those easy baskets. So, so what part of the game would you say the weight loss has kind of helped the most? Um, I don't know, probably just being aggressive. Um, just being able to put the ball in the basket, um, finish those strong plays and get in ones, um, just really being an inside presence. How would your teammates describe the difference in you? Do you think have they given you any feedback? What have they said? Um, I mean, one, the other day I put out a shirt from my locker and it was like, like a dress, and it was like, I mean, it really just put a, a smile on my face. Of just how hard I've been working, um, just to prove that I really have been dedicated to this, and this is really what I want to do for a living. Coach, sorry, Coach Williams talked about, used the word vicious to describe kind of the battles between the big men in practice. What's that kind of been like for you? Uh, I mean, it's a good experience for all of us. I mean, practice should always be competitive. Uh, I, mean, I think practice is harder than games any day. Um, like I said before, the games is a chance for you to go out there and show what you've been working on. Um, so I would say, I would agree with Coach that practice has been vicious for us down low because, I mean, everybody's competing for it. I mean, uh, uh, just, a, just a, a spot on the team as, as far as solidifying who we are and, and how we should play. So far this season, a lot of talk has been about your weight. Are you kind of ready for that to be over and to get out on the court and show people what you can really do with that? Uh, I mean, of course I am, but I, it's never going in. Um, I mean, it's just something that I learned. Uh, it's something I got to deal with. So, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with it now. I mean, it really doesn't bother me. And you never felt uncomfortable constantly being like, guys, I weigh this, I weigh this now? <laughs> I mean, when I first got here, I did. Um, but I'm good now. I'm, I'm all right. What are your initial impressions of your freshman teammates? Oh, they're hilarious. Uh, I mean, and first and foremost, they're like they're wonderful players. Um, I mean, I think all three of them are no no basketball. Um, they have high basketball IQ, and they're they're capable of of stepping up to the plate this year. Things didn't go exactly the way you wanted them to to go in your exhibition games. W was that kind of a wake up call? And what changes in either what changes have you seen among your teammates since that occurred that you think will indicate improvements? Um, I think as far as being, as a team is being more aggressive, um, I think that's that's the first thing that we we should work on. I mean, I think, I think that's what we've been emphasizing a lot is just being more aggressive um, and running the floor a lot more. So that, so we're gonna see more of the way that Coach Williams likes to play, which is nonstop. A lot of guys. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's what we've been focusing on in practice. Um, just going up and down as much as we can, uh, getting those reps in, so we'll be used to it when the game comes. So the better shape you're in, the more time you'll be on the court. Is Absolutely. that it? Yes, sir. Think you're quicker this this year? Oh yeah, of course. Um, I think that that all comes into play with the weight room. Um, I think Jonas knows what he's doing. Uh, I think some of the exercises and, and stuff that he has is doing helps us with that. So I mean, of course, I, I think I'm a lot quicker. Getting back on defense, that kind of stuff. Yeah, right yeah. On the court, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it hard to learn to give the t the tired signal? You you don't ever want to go off the court, but yeah, they're gonna. I mean, I think I think if if you play if you try to play tired, it's gonna hurt the team eventually. So I mean, I think it's just best if you're tired and just come out of the game. Because uh, you don't want to hurt your team in any way that you can. Um, so I think I think it's not hard, but I think of course any player doesn't want to come off the floor. 
Do they show you on film when you're playing tired, but you didn't give the tired signal? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. I think they do. Um, I think Coach said it before last year. Just, like, if you're tired, don't hurt the team. Just let me know. Um, but I think sometimes he would, he would like to see us fight through those things, though.